Timers. Hey, Shard Timers. Today is yours daily, and today is day 31. I was only trying to do a 30 day challenge, but it is what it is. It's just one more day. May goes all the way up to 31, so it is complete. It is finished. And, um, you know, discipline, consistency is key. But, um, what's blocking you? I believe that that's going to be the title of this sermon. <laughs> this podcast, this video cast. So what's blocking you from what? From number one, getting what you want. Number two, being what you want. Number three, getting exactly where you want to be. From where you are right now to where you want to be. What's stopping you? What's blocking you? Um, so also what's blocking your, you from your spirituality too, because that could be hard discipline. That could be a seriously hard discipline to consistently devote your time and energy to, right? So I want to just talk about, I guess, fasting or, or just being mindful of what you eat. You know you can fast and eat. If you eat less than 500 calories a, calories a day. Instead of 5,000 calories a day. Do you know what a big difference. A, what a huge difference that would make. I'm not saying you eat 2,000 or 5,000 calories a day. I don't know. I don't know you. But I know me. I used to eat a lot. But now I'm becoming more and more disciplined. The more and more uh, growth that I desire. Like, as a deer panteth for the water, so my soul longeth after thee. Woo! What I'm trying to say is, food blocks spirituality. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, it does. I'm not saying be a vegan, vegan, a vegan, or a pagan, or a vegan, or a vegan, or a... I'm being funny, but right now, for real though... I'm not going to try to tell you what to do or how to eat. You already know. We know. We know our faults. We know what we're doing wrong. To, we know what we can do better. How's that? Well, anyway, I'm here to motivate you, inspire you, and talk to you about doing better. That's it. That's my only desire here. Just call me Glamo. That's what my Christmas mug says. So... You know the belly? It's the core of a person. It's where it's called your inner chi. Like energy could also be called inner chi. And where is your inner chi? Your chi is here. It's in your belly area. In the Bible it says, out of the belly shall flow rivers. Of, what did it say? Out of the belly shall flow rivers of living water. And this is the belly area, the gut part, the chi part, the energy part. Okay, the energy. Can you, I mean, check this out. Look, you ever thought about this? Energy, 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 the energy, God, little God in you, the God, the big God in you. Um, energy. I just, that just came to me. And I give all credit and glory and honor to God. The Holy Spirit that just, uh uh, that reminds you, uh, that reminds you to say things or do things. In fact, in the Word of God, it says, uh, I will give you the words to say at the opportune time, at the, at the time you're supposed to say them. So that's what I feel like just happened. All right, so basically, your spirit is located in your belly, your spirit is your chi, is your gut. That's where the, 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 out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. You know what I'm saying? I'm, okay, if you don't know what I'm saying, listen to the video again. I'm trying to explain it the best way that I can. But basically, there's no spirit, not, there's no activating the spirit, the flow, the chi, unless it's cleansed, unless it's got something to flow through. If it's blocked, by food? How is rivers going to be, how is everything going to flow out? 
We got to get ourselves together to be our best, to get rid of diseases. Diseases is simply uncomfortableness. Diseases is simply disease. You ain't comfortable in your own body. It's heavy carrying all that weight around. Try walking up a flight of stairs without holding on to the handlebar. Some folk can't do it. I quit smoking cigarettes back in 2009 because I couldn't even walk up a flight of stairs. You know? So anyway, um, there's no spiritual activation until we get the stomach out the way. We got to get the food out the way. The addiction. The food is a straight up addiction. Straight up. Why do you think folk be getting mad when they fry is cold? They want it now. You know, that's that instantaneous, that's that instant mentality. But anyway, I'm not going to go there. Bottom line is the belly is the core of a person. That's where your spirit talk to you at. That's where spirit talk to you. I'm just saying, if you want God to get more, get more God. If you want more, more of God. I believe you have to discipline yourself. And he wants that. Even in uh second, I think it's Second Chronicles chapter 7, 14. I believe it's Second Chronicles chapter 7, 14. And it says, If my people were my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves, fast and pray. Humble simply means to fast simply means to humble yourself. Um and it says, turn from their wicked ways or repent, just turn around. And do things my way and go my way and go against the grain, you know, go against the world and be ye separate, come out from among them and all that. And I can go on and on and on and on about that. But that scripture says, um, then I will heal their land. God will heal you if we like our body wants to heal itself. God wants to heal. He wants this is his temple, right? Our body is God's temple where the spirit of God dwells. If you truly believe that, then you're going to make room for him. And making room is just simply slow down. Push that plate back. You don't need all that barbecue sauce. You don't need all that cheese and dairy and milk. That's causing mucus inside you and you got to... You got to hack it up and get it out. Come on. You know, some people don't even... Ooh, I'm not finna go there. I can't. Holy Spirit, stop me. Hold me back. Hold me back. <laughs> Anyway, food blocks the flow. So, just trying to help everybody be better. I mean, putting a seed, planting a seed in you, and, and putting something, giving you some food to think about, food for thought for your brain. Like, it ain't that serious. I Man, I used to eat, and then the next, I would think about, my, I mean, what's, what's going to be for lunch? Ooh, I want a ham, ham and cheese sandwich for lunch. Ooh, I wonder what I'm going to cook for dinner. Ooh, I got to take something out. Ooh, take that lamb chop out for me. Take that ground beef out for me. Take that chicken out for me. You know what I'm saying? We ain't even finished cooking breakfast yet. That's some good coffee right there, y'all. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Shar Timer. Shar stands for Sharice. And Time stands for Talk. Inspire. Motivate. I hope y'all was able to see me. I think you was. Uh, talk, inspire, motivate, empower, encourage, educate, exhort, edify, all the above. For you. Yes, you. I appreciate each and every one of you. I want to thank you for helping me climb the the um, uh, subscriber list. I'm getting like these uh, milestones they're giving me. You know, so, so many uh, subscribers that I get, they're giving me my, you know, a pat on the back, so to speak. And I appreciate that. Um, I value your time. And I hope you value my content. Um, please feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section. And let me know what you want on here. Because I put out what the Spirit of God inspires me to do. And say and talk about. Because this is his channel. It ain't even mine. Don't nothing belong to me. Because I belong to God. And I hope you do too. Of course you do. Alright. But thanks for watching my channel. And I'll see you back here next time. Okay. Bye bye.